Yo, yo, yo. King Runner, live and direct. I know I got that honorable win. And guess what? It's going to be a link that's going to be in my bio later. And guess what? Y'all going to be able to get knowledge, understanding. And guess what? It don't cost you nothing to get the knowledge. It don't cost you nothing. And King Garner got a link that I already have there. Go there right now. Go there right now. I'm talking to the youth. I'm talking to the family members. I'm talking to people. And right now, we're basically in the home. That's what we're doing right now. We're in the home. Yeah, we're in the home. You can go check them videos out here on YouTube also. I'm speaking to the youth in the home in this app. Make sure y'all go there. Go follow the link in my bio. If y'all don't see it tonight, and it's another link that I have a partnership with a nice honorable, I'm wait, I'm was waiting to ah, 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 sign the contract, but it'll be in my highlights. I'm gonna make sure I put it in my highlights, all of my stories. You know what I'm saying? Tonight I wanted to uh, take us outside the house. I know everybody is excited. Everybody been DMing me. I've been having families, uh, parents. I actually had King Lord, his mom, me and him, me and her conversated about positivity and how me and King Lord have had positive conversations, man. I mean, me and this kid have, have had some real leadership, grown men conversations where he give me understanding that he honor what I'm doing. And of course, him and Leek Moss had a lot of tracks. Go check out Leek Moss right now. LeakMoss.com. LeakMoss.com. You asking about the sweatshirts. You asking about the music. You pull me to the side. Yo, earn up. What's up? You and Leak. I, I, I. Look, 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 look. Go grab. Go support, man. Come on, man. We give y'all all the time. We like them guys in the hood, man. We stop because guess what? We normal. We regular guys like y'all. But we trying to be further in life. And we want y'all to be further in life. So we're doing leadership things. Instead of all the shoot em up bang bang stories, all the tough Tony stuff. We all for that, man. You know, that was kids stuff. We was immature. Now we on some grown up things. And the other day I was speaking about your neighbors and having love and respect and honoring your neighbors. Well, tonight I want to kind of take you a little bit off the steps and get you halfway in the street into the block. Now, you have neighbors, but you also have individuals that drive down the street, walk down the street, that also, guess what they do? They have a lot of things that they have going on in life. Some of them have frowned up faces. Some of them don't. Some of them come with a smile. Some of them come off just regular people. I feel like all of them people you should have that smile with. See, because you're not coming in an encounter type situation where you're dealing with these individuals, you know? You're just going around and you're just moving around in your community. Rappers get on the bus, get in the car, rappers just, you know, taking a walk, taking a dog on a walk, cat on a walk, whatever you do. You must actually be able to deal with others in a respectful manner, no matter what's going on in the house. See, because things are going to go on in the house, but what goes on in the house, stay in the house. So that means your emotions too, because you can make some bad decisions and might say, F a person in our community, you, you don't speak to someone or you don't give a person a smile, they may give you a gun in your face. And it's sad to say that that's happening around the world, not just in Philadelphia. But, you know, in our communities worldwide, this is a norm. Individuals are doing things that don't add up. You don't understand. But let me get you understanding of what's going on. A lot of people are on drugs. A lot of these drugs, they try to come off of them, some of them. And they come off of them without what? Going to a rehab. So that makes what? Their mind altered to go in different directions. Those directions may be negative. Those directions could be positive because one could say, I'm going to remove myself and go into what? A rehab. Now you begin to understand that others aren't just like you with that smile on their face. So got to understand it from King Garner, giving them the understanding of manners. So some of them don't know. So here it is. You're just an individual being who you are. But if you start to give off emotions and wear things on your sleeves, people can see it. And you can be bothered. You can actually be put in bad situations because of it. A frown, a look, especially our young ladies. Sometimes, you know, your man will tell you, your husband will say, don't even reply back to him. But it's best that you respectfully, I'm okay, have a nice day. Because that reminds them of their mother. Believe me, they have a good mother somewhere. Or if they don't have a good mother, they have a good grandmother. If they don't have a good grandmother, they had a good great-grandmother. They seen somebody, a teacher, someone, smile. 
that smile may remind them of that love that they had at one time in their life. I know I was a young man on the streets and I just didn't have no love from myself. My family, my grandparents that raised me, they had love for me, but I didn't have love for me. I counted me out because I wanted to be like my mother, a drug dealer. And my mother never told me to be like her. She always told me to be better than her in life. But the things she done around me made me, what, follow what my habitat had going on. So here you get an understanding that King Garner too had made silly mistakes of thinking just because this is going on in life and this is what I'm around, this is what I must follow. But you don't have to follow that. You got a nice ball game. Nobody know. None of your homies do. And guess what? They all shooters and killers. Don't none of them know you got a real game, but you ain't going to put it out there because you think what? That ain't thorough. That's not cool. No, that's beyond honorable, youngin. And you make it bring all them shooters with you and put them in position because you would think the shooter have control of that type of conversation, right? Nah, they're not supposed to. The one who was in charge, the one who was the one that can catch the ball, that can dunk it, he's a, he becomes in charge because he can put you in a better position. So you begin to listen and you learn. Let me see what I'm talking about. He's talking about positions here. He's talking about me learning. I'm going to school now. And I'm earning because he's dunking. He's catching. He's running. But guess what? Everybody is now in position because that's how a team eat. The same team I'm speaking about could be the same team that was selling drugs. And you all can come to the understanding of them houses only worth 20, 30,000. We can get them. Let's get with the OG big business or something. <laughs> we got 50. Ten a piece. Let's get a crib, man. He gave us some understanding of some things he can do. But I say flip. Huh? And these are the manners you begin to learn outside of the crib. Because you have to build family members that aren't family members that don't have that blood. But you got to begin to trust somebody. So everybody you see, just because they got a mad face or a smiley face, don't mean that person is for you or against you. It's up to you to, up to, you to set the tone. You want to be familiar? Familiar brings what? Comfortability. When people start being around you, they start seeing how lenient you really are. And they take advantage of that. And you become the weak one. Now that person is horsing you around and you're following their ideas. No, you guys should be coming together with some type of ideas. This is what's going on outside of the home. These are the manners. This, are the, this is the mannerism of gentlemen. Getting the understanding that we don't have to come with our pants hanging down anymore. You need a belt? All right, we're all friends. We're all family here outside of the home. Here, you have a belt. Nothing you can do. I don't have to worry about if you if I'm driving, boom, something coming in the back of my head, a bullet or a punch. I don't have to worry about that with you, with my family that I have created outside of the home. Because guess what? No matter how horrible the family inside the home may seem to be, they still your family. They're your blood. So that gives them an inch of a tad bit over the ones that you have a brotherhood or a love outside of the home. But the mannerisms are the same. You respect your brother the same way you respect your brother in the house. You respect your brother mother the same way you respect your mother in the home. You respect his wife the same way you respect your mother. These are the things that we do as men. This is how we carry it. But if you don't carry it no other way, and you come outside the home with ill manners, you're being a penitentiary. And I can give you a million stories of what happened to me and why and this and I've done that. But what does that give a merit of to you people? How do you begin to benefit? You heard the stories so you can go back and replay them on them videos. But now as a man, you're hearing a man speaking. And I'm giving you some understanding that King Ernest is here to set it straight. I just was relaxing. You know, I've been doing it. I kind of woke everyone up to it. I can honestly say Leak and Razor had really was already doing the school thing. Then I had C Bus who was doing the, the second run at fitness. You know what I'm saying? I had ML who started an honorable program and started getting with the city. All I got all brothers. I got Moo. Huh? We got we got all good brothers, man. No matter what people said about Shady and the things that happened with him. And we come to the conclusion that we have no proof of these things. So we get an understanding that even the things that he had going on were all positive. Look how honorable Ab was. Look how he always gave and never recorded. 
You know, we might have had the youngins paying them all a bean to do push-ups, but guess what? That was all out of love. Outside of that, you never seen what Ab done. And I can vouch to a million and one things that he has done. Let's start speaking honor. Let's start giving them the understanding that we outside of the house. We're not in the crib no more. Youngins, I didn't bought y'all outside. How are we going to carry it? We see a dude with his face all balled up. What's going on? How you feeling, man? Even if he ignores you, keep it pushing. You reminded him of someone. He respected that. But if you go around with an anger, with a chip on your shoulder, from things that happen in the home, with the family that are very personal, you're going to lose mentally. You're not going to even be able to understand anything in school, let alone a job, let alone anything that you have going on. It could be a business, because I'm hoping that after school there is a business. I promote college. But I do promote while you're in college, still having a business. These things aren't a crime to do together. I'm not going to hold y'all too long, but we're outside of the home, youngins. What are we going to do? We're outside of the home. We're giving mannerism amongst those we don't love and don't know. And guess what we have found? A brotherhood of individuals we created from this school, from this facility of you doing wrong or negativity. This camp that you might have been, this basketball, football team, or basketball team that you may have played on. Them friends come from every which way possible. And your honor is intact. And it's up to you to build your circle to be of honor. If it's a million people, pure honor. If it's not, so be it. At the end of the day, we got to make sure we carry it to the fullest carry it, carry it. You know what I'm saying? Carry it. Go down and open the door and um, I'll be out. Uh, but at the end of the day, King Gunner, live and direct. Make sure you got tuned all the way again, man. Honorable speakers, I will be coming here every day to do these videos. We're, 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 we're putting this thing together, man. This is, I mean, to be in the Philadelphia downtown area and have things in an area where I could see what's going on. I could look out the window. I could see the brothers that taking the kick too. The ones that acting like they're homeless, but I know they, they're not because their sneakers are brand new still. Their hair is cut. The skin is glowing. But they happen to take a puff of this stuff, and they stay there. We, we have to talk about this. We're going to get to this because guess what? We're outside of the home. King Gurner live and direct. Make sure y'all tune in. Parents, sit down, pay attention, and listen. This is something I'm going to give y'all, and guess what y'all going to get an understanding of? Who your children really is, and your children can get an understanding of who you really are. King Gurner, live and direct. Free ad, free OBH shirts. Make sure y'all go to leakmoss.com right now.